This episode is called Creme de Menthe, written by Karen Campbell. We called it Creme de Menthe kind of well, whimsically because when um, someone is accidentally killed, the idea is to hide the body uh, in a barrel of Creme de Menthe yeah. because no one in Scotland drinks Creme de Menthe. They drink whiskey. Well, there are worse places for one's eternal rest, Claire. The operation on Barton to relieve the pressure uh, on his head Katrina went through a training session, and then the Trefine, we looked around and we got an authentic one, period. Yeah. And we have had two things done for the episode. We had the actor cast, so his face and uh, I think half his, well, his whole body. Um, and then we had a section that she operated on. So the, the section of the skull with just the portion of the ear is what you would see in the episode. Yeah. And then the body that's laying there next to the hearth is mm -hmm. uh, her static body too. So. And we have a great uh, medical advisor whose name is Dr. Claire, yep. uh, who's an emergency room surgeon in um, Glasgow. We do have a, a, anything uh, filming. She usually is on standby and, and is there on set for any questions that, that mm -hmm. uh, uh, we may have or the actors may She's just She just waits for what crazy thing we call yeah. her with next, and yeah. it means a lot to us to do it, to do it right. There's a fire in Carfax clothes. Print shop. The burning of the print shop, the practical location just off the Royal Mile was uh, an actual museum, so we couldn't burn that. We built a facade of the entire print shop. But that was rigged, and we spent three nights burning that practically. How complicated is it to do something like that on the set? For the outside stuff, we had a bunch of safety there, so we had ambulances, and we had fire there, and then our special effects. After we burned the outside set, we did the burn on the interior. Now, we didn't actually burn the walls, but we set flame bars and uh, different effects throughout and um, set that on fire. We'd Sam in the interior did, I'd say, 90% of his stunts. And I think in, in post, we, you were able to selectively go, let's add some, build some smoke here. Yeah, because we did it, we wanted a progression over time, like you said, so, and then on camera, when you're watching the sequence, and there has to be a smooth progression of it. So yeah, sometimes we were adding smoke to scenes, other times we were not, you couldn't take out smoke, but we would use takes that had less, yeah less smoke in it so that there was a natural progression from the beginning of the fire all the way till it consumes the, the whole print shop. 